my microphone was not turned on and I could not get any of this audio. So this is me saying, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. This is the channel that I talk about cars on called Artimotive. This is the Porsche Classic event at Monterey Porsche in Seaside. And unfortunately, I'm a little bit late to this event. I brought my camera, take some pictures, capture some video and share as much of this as I can before the sun goes down. And hopefully next year I'll get my together and be here a little bit earlier because there was a lot of amazing cars. And unfortunately, a lot of them had already left. Now, even though we showed up late, I'm so glad that we actually went to this event. I wasn't expecting to show up as late and I was worried that we wouldn't see any cars, but there were still plenty of cars to see, even though we showed up near the end of the event. There was only about an hour left in the event. It was supposed to be a four hour event. And yes, we could have seen probably dozens more cars or even hundreds more cars, but it was really great to just see everything from, you know, rusting out cars that are in need of a rebuild to Models that you don't see very often, like the 914, 944, and basically anything and everything in between, all the way from the 60s Porsches up into 2024. So getting to see all of those cars was just really cool to me. And I even came across these like electric cars, which I'll get into a little bit later in the video, but they were incredible. I just don't know how I feel about electric Porsches. We eventually made our way inside the dealership where there was a bunch of art on display, a bunch of vendors selling wines and art and just all sorts of cool things. And they turned the garage into this incredible space with all these cool lights and music was playing. There was a guy playing guitar out in the other room. It was just a really cool thing. But the highlight of most of this for me was a little bit of nerd out time on these Porsche toolboxes, man. Add it to my bucket list. Then I saw this sign and things started to get a little bit weird. Anyway, Fix wheels were on display, showing off some of their wheels. This GT3 RS was incredible. This is my favorite, 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 favorite Porsche of all time. Maybe not this color combination, but you could probably tell that I love black and orange a lot. So I'll let you guess at my absolute favorite. After I drooled over this GT3 RS enough, we decided to make our way back out front and check out some of the other stuff that was outside of the building. Now, 000 started out as a magazine and they actually became a partner of Porsche and have built a number of cars with Porsche that you could buy from the dealership at this point. They're incredible. If you haven't checked them out, definitely look them up. This is just bucket list. As you can tell, I've said bucket list a lot in this video already, but I just love Porsches. One day I'll own one. Hopefully 
I can make content around it just like I'm doing today because this is really enjoyable for me and hopefully you're enjoying it too. And if you are, please hit subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you liked about this video and maybe what you didn't and give me some feedback. Okay, now back to these electric 964s. These are built by Everati. They are beautiful. I mean, they're really incredible. And it's incredible to think about Porsches being electric. I really don't know if I'll ever be able to get over the fact that driving a car to me really comes down to the entire experience. The sound is such an important part of that experience that I don't know if I could ever really get as much joy out of it. Because it's not even really about going fast for me. It's about the feeling of everything all at once. And sometimes you need that rumble. Sometimes you need that, that, ah, that, ah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, these are really beautiful cars. You should definitely check them out. I was really impressed with these. And maybe someday we get to a point where electric Porsches are the norm. That day just doesn't feel like it's here for me. I'm still going to wish for my GT3 RS 2007. All right, so I don't know if the intro that I made worked because there was a bunch of loud music playing, but this is a really cool show. We ended up talking with a bunch of people and pretty much shutting the place down. So there's only a couple of Porsches left, although we're at the dealership, so they'll probably bring the inventory back. But it was really cool to see all the different varieties. Electric Porsches, I don't know if I'm up for that yet. I still wanna hear that sound and feel that visceral experience, but we'll see. Thanks for watching catch you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe for more Monterey content. Peace.